As you get older, you find yourself at a certain crossroads. Should you try to look younger or should you embrace the fact that you're aging? Now, there are a lot of mistakes you can make as an older guy trying to look younger, but did you know that there are some things that you might be doing that can actually make you look even older? Aging is fine and I think we should embrace it, but you know, we definitely don't wanna look older than we are. And in this video, I'll be revealing eight mistakes that us older guys make that actually make us look older. I'm Brian Sakawa and you are watching He Spoke Style. If you wanna dress better, develop your personal style and gain more confidence, you've come to the right place because on this channel, I give you all the advice and inspiration you need to do just that. All right, so we all know this guy I'm about to describe. He's the guy you look at and are like, man, you know, he was probably so cool in the 80s. He pulls up in his Trans Am that's blurring White Snake or Dokken, uh, he's got that perfectly feathered and parted hair. Maybe he's wearing a blazer with shoulder pads that are a little too big. And you know, you can almost like smell the mustiness of the 80s when you see him. And this guy, he's not dressing like this to be ironic. Like he's not some Brooklyn hipster or something. No, what he thinks is, dude, I was the man in high school. I got tons of chicks, I partied, I drove a sweet car and I still got it. Why change anything? And that, not adapting to the times, is the first thing that makes us older guys look older. The thing about this, and I kind of alluded to it in my funny description of this hypothetical person, is that there's a really strong mental component to all of this. We've all likely had great positive experiences early on in our lives, and it's natural to want to hold on to that. Like, this was a great time in my life, I just wanna live here forever. But unfortunately, that's not how it works. We have to move on, we have to evolve, we can't live in the past. Sure, the clothing and hairstyle stuff, that's part of it, but the real issue is being able to mentally move on. Dwelling on past successes, triumphs, and positives to the point that it traps you in the past is not a good place to be. Things change, and change is hard, it sucks, but we know that change happens, and the sooner you can wrap your head around that and learn to consider change as a way to improve yourself and a new challenge to take on to improve yourself, then and only then can you start living your best life in the present. Now, as we get older, there are a lot of changes that happen to us and to our bodies. Most of them are very annoying. Things hurt, I don't recover as quickly, I get tired faster. We kind of accept these things though, and you know, maybe we laugh about it a little bit, but we pretty much understand that these are things that we can't really reverse. But there is one thing that happens as we get older that some of us do try to reverse with the intent of looking younger. However, when we make mistake number two, which is to try to cover up the fact that we're getting some gray hair, we actually make ourselves look even older. I don't know, you know, maybe there are some really good hair dye products and beard dyeing products out there, but I feel like I can always spot the person who uses them. It just doesn't look natural. It doesn't match up with everything else that I'm seeing in front of me. So it kind of looks like a guy who is trying to cling to his past glory and not accepting that things change. That makes us look and appear older. There's nothing wrong with gray hair or some salt and pepper. You appear more mature, you appear wiser. And in fact, I think a lot of women and men would say that men with gray hair or salt and pepper hair look even more attractive and sexier than guys without any gray. George Clooney, sexy. John Slattery, sexy. Pierce Brosnan, sexy. Brad Pitt, I rest my case. Now let's talk about a mistake that us older guys often make that makes us look older that is very easy to correct. Now, you may have noticed as you've matured that your eyebrows have gotten bushier, your nose hairs have gotten longer, and your ears have spreaded hair of their own. It's natural, it happens, but if you let it go, not only is it kind of gross, but it makes you look like an old man. There are many easy ways to take care of this. For nose hair, there are any number of little grooming devices to choose from, or you, know, you could use a pair of little scissors, but just be careful if you do that. Ear hair, also easy with a grooming device or electric razor. I would caution you if you use a safety razor to shave and you try to use that on your ear because 
it's very easy to cut yourself. And I am speaking from experience. And then as far as your eyebrows, next time you go to the barber, ask them to trim them up. They'll put the comb over them, go over it with some clippers, and you will look younger. So you've probably heard the saying, things get better with age or you know, things get better with time. And that's true of a lot of things like wine, cheese, whiskey, a great pair of jeans, quality leather goods, a cast iron skillet. But for most of these things to get better as they age, wine, cheese, and whiskey aside, there's a certain amount of maintenance involved. Taking good care of these things helps them age well and also ensures that you are maximizing their lifespan. The most important thing to understand is that this type of maintenance needs to be regular. It needs to be routine. It's not like you invest in a really nice leather briefcase, use it every day, beat it up real bad, never maintain it or protect it from the elements, and then one day, 10 years later, you're like, what happened to this? And is there any way that I can fix it? Because the answer is no. Once you get to a certain point with some things, there is no going back. Now for some things like the leather briefcase example or a pair of shoes or a pair of jeans, it's not really the end of the world if they wear out because we can just replace them with a new briefcase or a new pair of shoes or a new pair of jeans. But when it comes to something really important like your face, well, that's not something you can replace. And since it's also the first thing people see when they look at you, if you're not taking care of it, if you're not moisturizing, if you're not using some sort of SPF, if you're not doing that general daily maintenance, those effects are going to snowball out of control and you will end up looking much older than you are. And skincare doesn't have to be a big deal, but you do have to commit to the routine. That is why I'm proud to partner with Tiege Hanley, today's video sponsor, because they make the entire process just so easy. So if Tiege is new to you, I would recommend starting with their basic plan. With this plan, you're getting all of the important basic things that you need, like a face cleanser, an exfoliating scrub, an AM moisturizer with SPF that'll help protect your skin against the sun, and also a PM moisturizer, which is really important for the repair process that happens while you're sleeping. Since we are talking about things you can do to keep yourself from looking older than you are, I would highly recommend stepping up into Tiege's level three system, which is what I've personally been using and loving for over a year. And that one adds in a firming serum and an eye cream. You know, when you get older, there are a lot of things taking up your time. And I've gotten to a point in my life where for certain things, I just need somebody to tell me what to do because I literally don't have time to think about it. So when I get my T. Shanley box and open it up and see that card that tells me what to do, when to do it, and how much of the product to use, that itself is worth the price. So in addition to great skin, when you join Tiege, you get tons of perks, including at least 20% off the retail price, the ability to customize your box, shipping reminders, pause or cancel at any time, no hassle refunds, free US shipping, and low cost shipping to most other countries. And because Tiege Hanley is sponsoring today's video, they're offering you guys a great deal. Just click the first link in the description and not only will you get Tiege Hanley for the best possible price, but they'll also give you a free gift with your first box. Click that link to get started for just $30. So a lot of the things we're talking about here have to do with trying to hold on to the past at any cost. But unfortunately, when we do that, we look older than we are. And I would say the one thing and the one instance where this shows up the most is when guys start losing their hair. Now, this isn't something that's a problem just for us older guys because you can start losing your hair at any age. But if you're older and start losing your hair and start trying to cover it up with a little comb over and you know growing it longer on top to do the comb over, mistake number five, that just makes you look older. There's definitely a mental component to this one as well. You know, you might think you're not as attractive as you were with a full head of hair. You might think that women won't find you attractive anymore and basically it's over. But you know what? You are the only person that cares about this. I've seen friends of mine go through this and let me tell you, when they finally give in and just go with a tight buzz or even a complete head shave, they not only look and feel more confident, but they look younger than they did with the old comb over. It's tough, I know, I get it. But as hard as it's going to be, this is a change that you need to embrace. It's gonna be a different look, but I guarantee it will become your look and you won't look older than you are. So I had this teacher in grad school. He was, uh, he was in his late 60s, good looking guy, smart dresser. 
but he wore the wrong shoes and it really made him look like an old man. He used to wear these black New Balance walking shoes with everything. Now, when you get older, maybe for various reasons, you need some extra comfort when it comes to your shoes. Okay, I get it. But if you're dressing up, mistake number six, by the way, and wearing comfort shoes, you're gonna look like an old man. Don't do it. Get a nice pair of dress shoes. They could be Oxfords if your style is dressier, derbies if you're more casual. But do not wear these comfort shoes when you dress up because that will make you look older. Next, before I get to mistake number seven, I wanna talk uh, a little bit about wardrobe in general. There's a lot of conversation, especially at our age, about dressing age appropriately. Now, what does that even mean? What should someone in their 30s wear? What should someone in their 40s wear? What should someone in their 50s, 60s, or 70s wear? It is 100% a rhetorical question because there's no handbook for this. So when you think about how you dress, you should be asking yourself these questions. How do I want people to see me? Do I prefer to stand out or do I prefer to fit in? And finally, and perhaps most importantly, how do I want to feel wearing these clothes? The answers to these questions are way more important than what you quote unquote should be wearing at your age. If you're 20 years old and wanna wear a three-piece suit, there's nothing stopping you. No one's gonna say, you're too young to be wearing that. Now, what kind of stinks is, is that it really doesn't go the other way. Because mistake number seven that us older guys make that makes us look older is wearing trendy things that the kids are wearing. Trying to look younger will make you look older, especially when it comes to younger style trends. So, you know, instead of thumbing through the latest GQ for some outfit ideas, try searching through Instagram because there are a lot of older guys who have great style and they look their age. So if you want some recommendations for who to follow, hit me up in the comments. You know what one of the best things about getting older is? Not really caring quite as much anymore. For example, the other night I had on this outfit my wife took a picture and she asked me if it was okay if she posted it to her Instagram stories. Man, I don't care. <laughs> People that follow her and follow me would, would probably think it was funny. I mean, what's the big deal? I'm at home, I wanna be comfortable. I'm, I'm not trying to prove anything to anyone. Though, I do think this is a pretty good outfit. I mean, look at it. Basically, it's not like I've given up. I'm not dressing like this when I go out like I don't care because once you stop caring, once you kind of give up, that will make you look older. Now, I'm not saying you have to walk around with a suit and tie all the time, but you should put some effort into how you look and how you dress. Now, what is the best way to do that? Well, first of all, I'd recommend subscribing to this channel because it's literally what I talk about all the time. And second, check out that playlist I put together for you. So these are outfit ideas that literally anyone can pull off. They're not too dressy, they're not overdone, just things that you could wear every day and feel good about yourself. And I wanna thank Tiege Hanley once again for sponsoring this video. Reminder to click the link down below in the description to give Tiege a try for yourself and receive a free gift with your first box.